Personally, I feel like my makeup looks really bad right now. If you agree, please do not let me know because, quite frankly, it will hurt my feelings. Um, anyway, good morning, afternoon, or evening, y'all. My name is Shannon, and today we are doing my October reading wrap-up. If you watched my October TBR video, you will know that I put 10 books on my TBR, some of which were very ambitious of me, and it looked like it was too much for me to handle because I only actually finished five books this month. Let's get into it. The first book I read this month, I actually finished, I think, on the 1st or 2nd of October, and it was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I have heard so many mixed opinions about this book because of the movie and people just think it's like cringy and I don't I wouldn't say I agree but there was a specific thing that kept occurring that after a point it just really got on my nerves and was like girl shut the up um which is how often she would mention she is small she would constantly be like, I'm so small, he's so big. It, sh we get it. It was getting on my nerves after a certain point, but the book was very good. I really, really enjoyed the plot and Joshua's character. I am always a sucker for um, the trope when the guy has like, always been in love with her and she just doesn't know. That was this. I ate it up. I mean, obviously, I read it in like a day and a half. But this is about Joshua and Lucy. And they are both competing for a job promotion in their company. And it just gets so good. And I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, It is a little cheesy. It's just like a very easy, breezy romance book. I really enjoyed it though. I would rate it four stars. I honestly can't remember which I finished next, but I think, I think I know. Um, this book. Oh my god. I was not prepared. I have previously tried to read this book like a year ago maybe, but I was in the peak of a book slump after first reading Akatar for the first time. I think I started like 15 different books in that time that just didn't hook me because they just weren't Akatar. Anywho, I read Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Oh my gosh. I don't have the words. This was such an easy five stars for me. This book was perfect. This book is basically about Kaz. First off, love him. I love all the characters. Um, This book's about Kaz and he has been offered an insane amount of money in order to pull off this heist so he creates this whole group of people that will all fit perfectly into his plan and it was just so good the romances are so good oh my god i love all of the characters so 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 much i'm so happy that Crooked Kingdom is on my TBR for November because I desperately want to know where it goes from the end of this book. Oh my gosh, this book made me feel such things and oh my gosh, I I could rave on and on and on about this, but all I would be saying is basically the exact same thing in a different font. Um, love the characters, love the plot, love the heist my anxiety is through the roof but it's an exceptional book and i have so far loved all of lee bardugo's books i've read so far and i would highly 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 recommend this series then i listened slash read to the dixon rule by l kennedy i really enjoyed this i do have well, it's not an issue with the story, but it's an issue with the lack of trigger warnings in this book. 
because when I first started reading it and what happened happened, I like instantly went to the front to see if they had trigger warnings. They didn't. At first it was minor, but then it does rear its ugly head again near the end of this book. Um, this book talks about domestic violence in a very triggering way, I feel like, because she's experiencing it and because we're getting her point of view, we're experiencing it. And I just really wasn't ready and especially near the end, it definitely triggered me a bit, but it's still a really, really, really good book. I love Shane and Diana. This book um, is about Shane and Diana, and he recently moved next door to her. She loathes him because he consistently hooks up with, and then never calls again, members of her cheerleading team. And he is Ryder's best friend from the first book, The Graham Effect. But one day when Shane's ex comes to town with her new boyfriend, he's like, oh, I'm in a relationship too with the girl next door. And so she starts playing along and it's, it, it's so good. It's such a good book. There are more things I could say, but I don't want to spoil anything. It was a very good book. I have always appreciated, I'm, I don't know if it's in every L. Kennedy book, but I have noticed in the books of hers that I have read, more often than not, the third act conflict isn't between the couple. It's like an outside conflict affecting one of them and then the other is just kind of worried for them. If that makes any sense. Um, I've always enjoyed that because third act breakups really, really piss me off sometimes. And so typically with L. Kennedy's books, we don't really have that kind of thing going on. But I really enjoyed it. I think I would rate it like four, 4.25 stars. Again though, trigger warning for domestic violence. Then I listened to Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. I enjoyed this. Something that I have been going through this past month is just not enjoying the books I used to enjoy the same way I did back then. Like, this was a f very cute book. It was about a stand-up comedian who uh, falls in love with her manager because they're fake dating for press and he has a deaf daughter which was so cute it played in impeccably into the story it was such a good romance but it just didn't hit the way that it used to for me and maybe that's just because i don't know i don't know i'm like really struggling with this actually because i don't really know where to go from here kind of thing like that's why i've been trying to branch more into other genres i think just because the light, fluffy romances, they're really nice and they're really fun, but that's kind of it. And I want something that's going to be core shaking and earth shattering for me to read. And I think that's why I enjoyed Six of Crows so much, just because it went on such a deeper level than just miscommunication. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that was a very good book, and I think I would rate it like three, three and a half stars. Then I listened to Good Girl, Bad Blood by Miss Holly Jackson. I really enjoyed this. Um, I read the first book last month, second book this month, and I will be listening to the third book next month. I did enjoy it. I don't know that I would say I enjoyed it more than A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, but I do like how it kind of took a darker turn near the end, and I'm very, very intrigued to see where the series goes from here. This series is about Pippa Jackson, and she, in the first book at least, 
is bent on solving the Andy Bell case from her neighborhood that happened like five years earlier, I think. She ends up doing so, and then she releases a podcast on it that goes viral, and people keep asking what's next, what's next, and then someone in her town goes missing whose younger brother reaches out to Pippa and is like, can you please look into this? The cops are not doing anything. And lo and behold, she does. But I will say I kind of predicted this one a little bit. Like when the reveal finally happened, that's not who I was expecting. But there was a moment in the story when I was like, I think this person is who's doing this. Um, I did really enjoy it though and I'm intrigued to see where the series goes from here. I also love these audiobooks because they use so many different voice actors which I always always appreciate because it really helps me differentiate between characters in my head. But I think I'd rate that like a 3.5, 4-ish stars. I did really enjoy it. And now for the books I started but didn't finish. It's not like I like DNF'd them, I just haven't finished them. And I would like to finish them but now a new month has started and I don't really know what to do. Anywho, um, I am 75% of the way through this audiobook, Hellbent by Leigh Bardugo. I loved Ninth House. I rated it 5 stars. Um, I do want to finish this. I just really haven't been on my audiobook grind lately. I don't know what it is. I've just been listening to YouTube constantly. Like, constantly. And I think I will try to finish this audiobook though before I start my November TBR audiobooks that I have on loan from Libby. I am really enjoying it. Um, this series is about Alex and she has recently started at Yale University. The reason she was kind of recruited there for the purpose of managing, overseeing the secret societies operating within Yale. It is excellent. It's very magic based. I think the whole magic system was absolutely fascinating and there is a whole subplot that kind of... I don't even know how to explain this book. The back of the book does not do it justice by any means and there are, is so much more than what meets the eye for this story. I'm so excited for when Lee Bardugo eventually announces when the third and I believe final installment in this series is going to come out. I honestly think that might be what it is, that I just don't want to finish this without the third one because I know it's going to end on a cliffhanger because the last one did. Um, but this series is so, so good and I would highly recommend it to anyone wanting to get more into Dark Academia. I definitely intend on finishing this. And then I also started my copies over there, but I don't feel like getting it, so I'm just going to tell you guys. A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. I am rereading this series. I have spoken about this on my channel. Um, I'm rereading it to annotate it for my sister-in-law because she is reading the series for the first time and I love that book. That book is my favorite book in the series. One of my favorite books of all time. I adore that series. I have just not been able to sit down and read for an endless amount of time like I used to be able to. And so I stopped reading. I think that's going to be a book that I just kind of get to when I want to because it honestly just feels like coming home reading that series. The only other series I think I can say that about is the Boys of Toman series, Magnolia Park series, and the Harry Potter series because I was essentially raised on Harry Potter in my mom's household. 
And so I kind of want to take my time in my reread. But yeah, I mean, that book, I already know it's a six star book for me. Absolutely adore that book. Adore that series. And I would highly recommend it to anyone. The next book I started but didn't finish was Falling Away by Penelope Douglas. I was enjoying this. I just got sidetracked by life and other things that I just didn't get back to it. This book is about Casey and Jackson and she kind of hates him. I'm not gonna lie. She really doesn't like him throughout the first like half of this book but he has always liked her. She has just never given him the time of day. Um, but something happens where she ends up having to go back to her hometown and uh, actually live like right next door to him. And so they kind of just have to coexist, but things get really good and you learn more about her upbringing, which is heartbreaking and kind of really abusive and tragic and he is all for having her like stand on her own two feet stand up to her parents it's just so good and i do think i want to finish it i just haven't gotten around to it but yeah it was good something i also just wanted to touch on in this video is just my channel in general because i think I'm, I'm i don't want to say i'm gonna lean away from book content because I absolutely adore books. Books are a huge part of who I am as a person and I do really enjoy making making book videos and talking about books and all the things but I want to be able to also talk about my other kind of passions in life. Like I've been getting really into fitness and healthy eating and just like lifestyle stuff and if you guys would actually watch that please let me know because there is a really big part of me that wants to start integrating that into my videos and yeah I mean even if you don't let me know I might do it anyway just because I mean I really really want to so if you would watch it like please 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 let me know in the comments whether or not I should start doing that I really hope I have better luck with my TBR this month as opposed to last month I'm still working my way out of my book slump I think but I think I'm going is I think it's going well I mean I found a five-star read and I mean, I think my first five-star read of the year was in March or April, so I mean, it doesn't happen often, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I sincerely hope you all are having an absolutely wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.